What is it called? Sink and float experiment. Sink and float experiment. This boat is designed to sink and float. Okay. And this is boat number three? Yeah, boat number three in the contest. In the contest? And this is the so far remaining part piece from the last boat. Where's the first boat? It's This is the first boat. <laughs> At least a piece from the boat. It's floating! It's floating! Yeah, that looks like a great boat. Okay. Now, we're going to do an, a little test. Okay. You want to flip it over and see what happens? It floats like that, too. The wheels are, are using as little rafts on the back. Little rafts? To, to keep it afloat. And on the other side, this doing just the same thing. Just the ball by itself would still float. Mm-hmm. How come the, the disc sunk when you put it in there by itself, but now it'll float with the bottle? Because it had holes in it. It wasn't a full just blue disc. Oh, let's see what happens when you take the, the cap off. And the bottle is filled up with water. Let's see what happens. That's a good experiment. What do you think is going to happen? It could sink, which is the thing I'm, I think it will sink. Well. <laughs> okay. If you fill it up with water, I think it will. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Close it. Seal it tight. Don't want it to sink. Am my best boat yet? It's having some trouble. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, it's still floating. It's still floating. Let's see what, how, how success is going with the crack on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think many of these boats can stand up to the Kraken. Hmm.